My name is Danny Hart, I'm 32 years old and I'm just shy of 5 foot 10. This year I'm riding a GT Fury and it'll be a size large. I think I've had this bike now for um, 3 to 4 weeks, trying to get the hours in on it as quick as I can. I'm really happy with the way this bike carries speed because typically with the high pivot bike that I was riding in the past I thought it didn't carry as much speed as, as I would have liked going to Hamsterley where I've ridden the trek a lot of times so I know what a good bike feels like. This bike carried more speed than any bike that I've actually ridden in the past with the Continental tyres now. They're so grippy and um, I haven't really found the limit of them yet so um, I've got to keep pushing. Um, this bike when we're looking at the size is a little bit bigger and typically I like try to get the bikes identical on a, your cockpit and what have you but it's a little bit more hard to do with this one because it's quite a bit bigger but that's not necessarily a bad thing so with Renthal and working with those guys in the past I've got a good a good handlebar that I had from a few years ago which is which really helps with the cockpit feel I've got a Fox 40 on the front there and that has 84 and a half psi and that's just been my go-to for a while now and the shock um, is 525 spring. Uh, Rich, Ethan's mechanic from last year, he just gave me a couple pointers initially to get going. And that was really helpful because I would never have thought to be on a 525 spring at 70 kilos. So um, he helped me a little bit there. And then a couple of days ago here, I had some telemetry on the bike. And by no means is it a World Cup track, but it's a good enough track for a bit of testing and we changed a couple of clickers on the fork and, and we're in the in a in a really good place so that's been good <laughs> to be honest it was a case of get on it and get going as quick as you can as soon as you can so and like i said we put some byb on the bike and uh, we're in a good place so tire choice this year i'll be on continental a brilliant tire you know they've had some really good success over the past couple of years and um Right now, my go-to tyre is a CryptoTel, and I'm running 23 PSI in the front and 27 in the rear. No inserts, and they're super tight to get on. Like, <laughs> I have to get the metal tyre levers out for these ones, so they're not burping very much and uh, not losing any pressure from pretty much from ride to ride. I'll check the pressures and they're not really moving, so it's good. So I've gone with... A, a rental bar that like I just said they made me in 2016 when I was riding with Mondraker we were with rental I wanted a handlebar that put me a little bit more central on the bike so this handlebar from rental is a, a 30 mil rise with a 9 degree back sweep as opposed to a typical 7 from rental and I believe it's a 45 mil stem oh, the headset I believe is 6 mil back but no nothing for the angle just six mil back to make it a little shorter. Yeah, my brakes are, I would say, more on the higher side than, than typical because it's just how I like it. Um, I've actually got Shimano brakes on now, but moving forward, the team will be supported by TRP. So I'm really excited to get, get on their product. Obviously, everything's quite last minute for us this season, so we're still just waiting on a bit of product to come through. But um, yeah, TRP seem to be making waves in the industry, so I'm really excited to get on, on their brakes and drivetrain. Yeah, grip choice, I have been with, with Bergtech for the past few years, but coming over here to Continental GT, um, the team is supported by ODI, so I like the long neck um, push-on grip is one, my grip of choice, but you have to be quite organised with that because they don't come on and off like a lock-on, so you have to have your your shifter and stuff on the handlebar already or with this shifter I'm using so I don't think there's anything that I'm super finicky with like I like my brakes and stuff to be on the right angle and I always find with mechanics they put the shifter on in an angle that looks nice for a picture but you can't ever reach it when you're riding so pretty much have to change that every time I get on the bike but um, tyre pressures that's one thing that I check all the time I've got the XL Crude XL fender, which pretty much doesn't come off the bike all winter because everywhere we ride is just a mess. <laughs> and that thing keeps the goggles clean. You don't need to run tear-offs or roll-offs or, or nothing. So the bike, I've taken to it like a duck to water. So 
Super excited to get racing on it.